let me start by uh, recognizing uh, our first uh, Hall of Fame um, inductee, uh, Nenad Medvidovic. I think that uh, my reception five minutes ago was lukewarm because people were complaining about saving all the elements for, for Nena here, which is, which is, all, you know, which is all good. Uh, Nena, or Neno, uh, is he, he's a uh, PhD degree uh, from uh, ICS in uh, 1999. He's, he's advisor, uh, Dick Taylor is. Uh, <laughs> the department chair for um, the computer science department at the University of Southern California. Just, just for 40 months and four years. Now, now, that department is a beneficiary of a sizable gift from Lord Foundation, the 262 million gift that was uh, uh, announced back in 2019. And it's truly a privilege to have one of our own alarms uh, leading another department up the road uh, in such, uh, during such a transformative uh, era. So, um, let me tell you a few things about Nano's career. Uh, he's a recipient of a long list of accolades and recognition at the National Science Foundation Career Award in 2000, uh, the Okawa Foundation Research Grant, uh, IBM Real-Time Initiative Faculty Awards, Orange County Engineering Council Distinguished Engineering Merit Award, ACM6 of Distinguished Service Award. Uh, there's another couple of things here. I'm, I'm, I have a lot of notes. I'm not, I'm not going to go through all of them. There is a, this, I, I believe there is a. Anyhow, it, it's too many awards to list. Medvedovich uh, <laughs> Nenad is an ACM Distinguished Scientist and ITP Fellow. Uh, his research interests are in the area of architecture-based software development. His work focuses on software architecture, modeling, and analysis, middleware facilities for architectural implementation, product line architectures, architectural styles, it's not fashion, architecture level support for software development in highly distributed mobile resource constraint embedded computing environments. I mean, look, if there is not a long list of jargon, it's not an ICS presentation, so we have to, we have to bear with you. So, Neno, please join me up on the stage. Every time I come to this part of uh, Southern California, I feel like I'm coming home. Um, and really, there is one person who uh, gets pretty much all the credit for it, and that's Dick. Uh, he, made, he made my life at UCI, short as it was, feel like it really was uh, five formative years for me. I also want to recognize Deborah, actually, who I didn't know was going to be here. I took my first class at UCI with her, and I survived. And uh, Debbie Brockbeck, uh, I, was, uh, I was a TA my very first quarter at UCI for a class she taught. And then um, Roy and Eric and uh, Jay and of course Hadar, who I saw elsewhere earlier. Uh, Andre, who was uh, and has been a friend, uh, even though he's not an anteater, he just got a job here. Um, and um, I'm sure I'm missing some other people. Uh, two of my own students are now uh, on the faculty at UCI, Josh and Sam. I'm very proud of you. And, uh, privilege to, uh, to call you uh, my friends, uh, and I wanted to um, give a special shout out to my kids, Pavla and Sasha, and to my partner Norma, to brave uh, LA traffic to come down here and uh, spend the evening with us. Thank you so much. Our second inductee is uh, Fritz Onion. Uh, received his Master's of Science from ICS in 1993. In 2004, he co-founded the technology training company Pluralsight with three other colleagues, where he served as the Chief Content Officer from 2008 to 2014. By 2013, the company had established itself as a high-growth, 
online subscription-based company training software, uh, company training software developers and IT professionals worldwide. Uh, in 2004, Fritz and his wife Susan created and endowed the foundation to support main nonprofits, the Orion Foundation. Uh, the Orion Foundation is a private charitable foundation which was created with the mission of encouraging conservation and stewardship of the natural environment, promoting music and the arts in the state of Maine. Having grown up in Farmington, a small town in the western foothills of Maine, Fritz and Susan both value living in a rural community with access to the outdoors. Both Fritz and Susan also serve on the advisory board of Plural Site 1, the philanthropic branch of Plural Site, whose mission is to unlock opportunity for the under, underrepresented by increasing access to technology, skill development, and promoting diversity in the technology workforce. Um, we were outside with public in 2018. So, yes. Thank you so much. I didn't know they were going to do such a deep Google search on me before they introduced me. <laughs> um, I have to say I've had a lot of fun tonight um, talking about my old research, which I really hadn't thought about doing in a long time. Um, I had a lengthy discussion with um, of us um, talking about uh, compilers for VLAW architectures, which is just uh, bringing back the old memories. Um, <clears throat> and it kind of makes you re reminisce to think about where you were 25 some odd years ago and um, you know where students are today. And uh, it, it's just been a, a, a pleasure to sort of relive some of that. And uh, he mentioned I graduated in 93. I actually stuck around until 95. Um, hoping to finish that PhD, but ended up leaving with the uh, infamous all about the degree uh, certificate <laughs> to pursue other ventures. Um, and although I never pursued the academic route I originally intended to, um, my time at UCI was, was really meaningful to me. The people I met here, the experiences I shared were uh, very influential in my career, and um, I wouldn't be where I today, am today without uh, everyone I met here and, and all the um, help I had along the way. So. Thank you very much. This is very meaningful for me, and I, I really appreciate it. Accepting on behalf of uh, Lisa is Professor Andre van der Hoek. Andre, come up here. Lisa received her PhD uh, from ICS in 1998, his Master's of Science three years earlier in 1995. She's Distinguished Professor of Computer Science and Information Science at the University of Colorado Boulder. Uh, she was the founding chair of the Department of Information Science, which was lost, launched in 2015. She directs the project EPIC uh, and co-directs the Center for Software and Society. Uh, Professor Grayling is a leader in the area of crisis informatics and the area she forged with her graduate students and colleagues at Colorado. She brings her training in human-computer interaction, computer-supported cooperative work, and social computing to bear on understanding and advancing socio-technical issues of societal uh, impact. She conducts empirical research in the inter interpretivist tradition. However, in the advancing area of arena of the large-scale online interaction, the big data crisis response, she adopts quantitative techniques that then allow the application of qualitative methods and the ethnographic eye to closely observe and describe social structures in such technology-mediated situations. For her work, Professor Penning has been uh, given the 2015 ACM Computer Human Interaction Societal Impact Award. Let's uh, give a round of applause to Professor Penning. So we all know about imposter syndrome in uh, computing and engineering. Uh, imagine how I feel right now. <laughs> so anyways, I'm, I'm just really glad to be able to read a few words made, uh, from Leisha. Um, so she says, and I'm going to do this in the I form because it's, it's her words. 25 years after graduating from UCI, and as a professor now, it is no exaggeration to say that I draw upon all that I learned while I was a PhD student daily. ICS in 1993, the year I started, was an exciting place. It was one of the first information schools in the nation, and I felt lucky to be there. 30 years on, its legacy is felt across many disciplines within and beyond computing. 
UCI was well ahead of the time, with Rob Kleen and John Keane leading the way to forge a wider and more considered path for computing research and education that portended the world we have today. One that demands and even yearns for critical and creative encounters with data, information, and technology. ICS also set an example for how iSchools should organize themselves. I should know. In 2012, I began lobbying for a Department of Information Science at the University of Colorado Boulder after serving as a professor in computer science for 14 years. This was an incredibly political series of events that eventually made their way to the system state level to be argued and took three years to come to pass, which actually is warp speed in academia. But I was benefited by the secret weapon I was carrying in my back pocket and that helped me all along the way. I was a student of ICS and I've been conducting research in the multidisciplinary tradition of ICS in those 14 years since graduating. My lab work in the informatics and crisis response was highly interdisciplinary and it gained international attention. Students from disciplines across the campus flocked to the little lab in computer science to work in humanitarian response, so eager to understand this new role tech and data could play in disaster response. This too was part of the ICS legacy. Um, students strongly desired an information science education at Colorado and the National Science Foundation wanted more of the research we were doing. These facts became hard to resist, and so the Department of Information Science was born. Our Department of Information Science is a child of ICS in yet more ways. We've learned from ICS how essential it is to have close integration with other subfields in computer science. We have hired other UCI ICS graduates onto our faculty, Jeff Brubaker and Brian Saman. Amy Voida and Steve Voida were postdocs at UCI. And Judy Olson and Gary Olson have served on our board and mentored our junior faculty as we were getting started. You can see that I have much to thank ICS faculty, staff, and fellow students for. ICS continues to live large in my life. Though it is true, as they say, that when I can never go home again, I don't have to. Because as you can see, I carry around ICS as my secret beneficent weapon. We always will, uh, it is always with me as I awaken students exclamation mark, mesmerize reviewers, exclamation mark, and rally politicians, double exclamation mark, <laughs> about the benefits of seeing the world as only information and computer scientists can. Thank you so very much for this tremendous honor. Round of applause for Alicia.